All right, so start of week number three, um, nice leg session. Uh, apologies too for the lighting here. I'm kind of learning about video and photography and editing and all the fun stuff uh, at the moment, so it's a little bit dark, but um, I guess I should be apologizing for the Irish weather as well. So here we go, and um, the first superset is Bulgarian split squat. <coughs> I'm using a bit of tempo here. Um, so I'm kind of keeping I guess a steady kind of pace throughout the repetition. Um, it's probably not quite too up, too down, but I just want to make sure that I'm not particularly resting anywhere throughout the movement. Squeeze the top and straight back down. So I'm going to go for 10 on each leg, and when this is done, I'm going to switch up to a, um, I guess it's a Bulgarian split zerker. Good morning, maybe. So he's um, really good for the, the glutes. So I'm holding the goblet or the, the kettlebell in a kind of a goblet squat or a circuit position. Bracing through my core and it's the top position. So I'm kind of like a good morning almost or a Romanian deadlift. I'm hinging on the hips. Standing leg will bend slightly. But it's really coming from the hips here. And as I extend, I'm squeezing through the glute. So this is um, a real burner after doing the, the split squat. So I'm going to go 10 into 10. Just shake out the legs, get a quick breather. lining up here again I'm gonna go three feet from the bench and um, we can go further away or closer but the further away we go it's only more glutes and hamstrings and the closer that the heel is to the bench it's only more quads so I think three feet is kind of generally a good balance between the two And I think regardless of height, I think pretty much everybody should be able to get that rear that rear knee to the floor. And a lot of times I see people struggle with this is because they have they have too much of their uh, their foot on the bench, which kind of limits ankle mobility. So it's pretty much just up to, to laces on the bench or on a chair. Back into the good morning variation. So it looked like my upper back uh, probably is rounded slightly. Um, that's probably just a lot to do with kind of holding the, the kettlebell or the weight at my chest too. Key is keeping the lower back flat. And there's always that squeeze through the glutes to the top. So body weight variation. And um, we can spend a bit more time under tension on the uh, split squat so it's kind of up to yourself um, again I like the two seconds up two seconds down just trying to keep constant tension I'm going to shoot for 10 repetitions on each leg and the way I'm going to do this one is I'm going to do 10 repetitions on one side and I'm going to transition in uh, to the switch lunge the jumping the jumping lunge I'm going to go back I'm going to do 10 repetitions on the other leg and I'm going to do 10 switch lunges again so I'll be one round I'm going to go for three of them Here we go into the switch lunge. Um, again, I'm probably a little bit more kind of tentative or careful here on the, the landing or the lower position because obviously I don't want to kneecap myself on the solid surface. If you have padding or a carpet underneath us, we can probably be a bit more kind of, um, I'm not going to say reckless, slightly more carefree on the landing. So we get 10 switch lunges and then it's back into the space squat. So it's going to be 10 repetitions on this side and then back into 10 switch lunges and that's one full round. Again, take a little breather, shake out the legs. I'm going to shoot for three rounds of those in total.
part B is lateral lunge. We're going to go for 10 lateral lunges on each side. And we're going to go into a side plank, uh, star plank variation then after that. So 10 lateral lunges each leg. Then it's going to be ideally 30 seconds each side on the uh, star plank or on the side plank. That's one round. And again, we're just going to look for three rounds in total here. So things to watch out for here in the lateral lunge uh, would be with the moving leg, with the stepping leg, strong landing through the heel, so I'm not just landing on my toes. And on the trailing leg, the straight leg here, the leg is straight. Again, there's a slight bend in here, which I noticed myself in the last few videos, and uh, I injured the inside of this right knee recently, and it's probably a bit of kind of subconscious um, protecting going on here a little bit. I'm trying to do a lot of static stretches at the minute to help with this too. So the trailing leg, I ideally want that leg straight, and also the foot of the trailing leg, the straight leg, I want to keep the sole of the foot on the floor. I saw some folks doing this, and they're, they're coming onto the side of the foot, which is going to put more stress through the knee, so we don't want to do that. So when that's done, we are into the side plank variation, um, star plank. If you can't do the star plank, just side plank. And if you're struggling with the side plank, we'll just do a side plank from the knees. Again, alignment, top shoulder over the bottom shoulder, uh, top hip over the bottom hip. And on to part C, we have a, a similar to actually what we did on the first day. So we've got our kettlebell or a goblet squat. I'm gonna shoot for 12 repetitions here. Legs should be feeling pretty tired at this stage. So um, really just really, really make good effort to get a full full range of movement here. I'm not trying to cheat or kind of um, shortcut here now. We're nearly done, so stay with it. We have 12 here. When we have 12 squats done, we're gonna transition into a 15, to 15 kettlebell swings. Sorry, I forgot myself there for a second. So 12 squats, 15 kettlebell swings. Again, strong hip hinge. Use that hip extension to initiate the kettlebell swing, not the arms. Arms follow. So we got 15 of these guys. When that's done then, we're gonna do a little bit of hamstring work. And we're gonna do the long lever bridge. And long lever bridge, we're gonna shoot for about 30 seconds here. So with this round, we can keep the three movements flowing. So we can do this uh, squats first. We can pretty much transition into the swings. And from there, we can transition into the long lever bridge, as you see here. Uh, when that's done, we can take a little bit of recovery, a little bit of breather, and we can get back into the kettlebell squats then. So here I'm just focusing on I'm driving my heels down into the floor, squeezing my glutes, so I'm tucking my hips under. Should really feel this, uh, feeling the glutes, which is feeling the hamstrings a lot as well. And if we don't have a kettlebell, we're just going to shoot for the good old one and one quarter squats. Go for 12 of these, so a little bit more time under tension. Just come about a quarter of the way, then all the way up. So same thing applies, hit that bottom position. And 12 of these guys are done. Um, we can do this various stuff that we can do. I mean, we can look at a box jump variation, but I mean, our legs are probably going to be fried at this stage. So I think just something to keep the heart rate up, to keep things moving. Uh, if you don't have the kettlebell to swing with, we can just do some mountain climbers. Uh, just for the video here, I've just done 10 on each side. So weights through the hands, trying to keep the hips relatively low. Um, we could even do this for time. I could even do 30 seconds of these. Um, 10 each side probably isn't uh, too taxing. And then same thing, long lever bridge then, just to get some posterior chain in there too. And for this one, C1, C2, and C3, we're looking for three rounds. So like I said, we can flow straight through each movement, but when we get to the end of the long lever bridge here, we can take a maybe a minute rest and back in again into our squats. And of course, then when all that's done, make sure we do get the couch stretch, two minutes each side. We accumulate two minutes here. The the knees, quads will be fairly uh, fairly worked. So just stretch out the front of the thigh. Two minutes each side to finish, and then that is us done for today.